Okay, so out of necessity, I'm fairly active uh, in a background sense in uh, City of Coral Gables government. Um, so do I have any information that <coughs> I could provide the City of Coral Gables relating to my intense following of the events in Gaza and the Middle East as to what the city might consider doing. Um, and uh, we do have examples. There's been cities now, um, prominent cities around the country. I think that the city of San Francisco has publicly called for a ceasefire in Gaza. I think that the uh, city of Chicago has publicly passed a resolution to calling for a ceasefire in Gaza. Um, that was probably the big one. There have been a number of cities and why would the city of Coral Gables want to consider the possibility of doing that? I think that we're on a heading on a trajectory. Uh, first of all, I think that Mr. Biden and Mr. Netanyahu have committed war crimes in Gaza. They've killed over 10,000 children. That's not a, an acceptable method of war. They've killed over 10,000 children. Uh, Biden, uh, the unindicted co-conspirator there because he, without his veto at the United Nations, it would not be possible. Uh, Number two, and worse, the Israeli government, Netanyahu, and his ministers have repeatedly said publicly this was the uh, basis of the genocide complaint by South Africa against Israel in the International Court of Justice. They said that they plan to kill every last person in Gaza. So the, the announced plan it's unbelievable, they keep bragging about it, uh, is to kill every, uh, every resident of Gaza, every Arab in Gaza, to exterminate them and replace them ultimately with Jewish, Israeli settlers to turn Gaza to, uh, do, do you follow what I'm saying? So um, it's ethnic cleansing at its worst, it's a war crime uh, that is of uh, the most horrifying pro proportions and of which Joe Biden uh, is an absolute co-conspirator guilty party. Um, so that's really the genesis of the, the worldwide protests we're seeing. And... Um, I mean, I probably shouldn't say this, but sometimes it's it's good to say something earthy. I'm I'm no fan of Arabs. Right? Many of them have disagreeable personalities, and you know they're not your best friends. But that doesn't mean I want to kill them. You know. So maybe I don't like Arabs that much, but I don't want to kill them. And yet that's what Joe Biden is doing. And that's why these cities are uh, calling for ceasefires. And the thing is that by him and Netanyahu doing these things, and now he's, he's bombed the Houthis. Uh, I've done my research on this. The Houthis are going to win. The Houthis are actually the government of Yemen. And the Yemenis, 23 million strong, uh, are supporters of Palestine Biden is going to lose this, but he's committed another arguable war crime. Now he's attacked. Um, this is almost like a repeat of the whole Iraq war that he was the major Democratic supporter of. Uh, uh, three U.S. servicemen have gotten killed. Um, and so this is another launching pad now for him to start bombing uh, Iranian outposts in uh Syria and Iraq. And so he keeps upping the ante in 
uh, a whole controversy that's based on his own war crimes. And um, so where does it take us? And if, if World War III starts, and it, that's where he's moving ever stronger every week or so, then uh, nuclear annihilation is not far behind because there are now nine countries with nuclear weapons. Uh, there's Israel, which I think has made it clear if, it, if, if the world doesn't let it get away with its war crimes, including the wiping out of the entire Arab population, 2.3 million people of Gaza, uh, to replace them with is Israeli Jews, then is then Netanyahu, first of all, he, he will not submit to any international court of law. And secondly, uh, I think he, 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 if he thought he was going to be held accountable, uh, then he would hit the button and start... Uh, start well he start uh the nuclear annihilation event because he, he the, israel has lots of nuclear bombs probably enough to hit every major country that possesses weapons and so you you get this counter uh, this so all right then you get if if that's not convincing to you uh think no further than north korea um <laughs> i mean it's not funny is it at all but that we know that North Korea um, are lunatics, right? And they have a nuclear weapon. Uh, then you go to India, Pakistan. They're so new at this. I think they're mostly suspicious of each other, right? But if they start, if they go into a nuclear thing between themselves, they don't realize that that's going to set off a chain reaction of all the other countries who don't really know who's doing what. And then they say, well, we better use it or lose it. That is to use the, to launch their own bombs or, or, or maybe be done in by a first strike. Do you follow me? Because you've got France, uh, China, Russia, the United Kingdom, the United States, um, none of which can be controlled. Uh, the the deterioration into nuclear annihilation, I think, is going to be a, a very rapid one. Uh, I, probably less than a month if World War III starts, which Biden keeps trying to make it happen. Ergo, these cities actually going to the extent of calling for a ceasefire, which is not funny. You know, none of us want to be supporting a nuclear annihilation. 